Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Adawi are clear for takeoff, and they are off to do battle with the Norskin tribes on this fateful day. We have the undead squirrel leading the Dawi, and we have Guac leading the Norskins. So for the rest of the Dawi forces, other than these four gyrocopter brimstone guns, we are being led by a rune lord bringing rune of wrath and ruin. We have three cannons, some dragonback slayers, and the rest of the line is going to be a mix-up of miners with blasting charges. We have some long beards for the front line as well. And then one more dwarf warrior helping to protect the back line from the rush of the Norskins. And for Norska, we do have Wolfric the Wanderer leading the for forces. He is just going to be bringing Seafang. We have two feral manticores up in the sky, and they will be hunting these gyrocopters. For the front line, we do have just regular marauders backed up by three marauder berserkers. And then we have three marauder horsemen with throwing axes for the mobility department. And then for the spell casting, we have two casters here today. One a shaman sorcerer of fire and another a shaman sorcerer of metal. Both of which are going to be on their chariots, which will do well against the Dawi. Chariots usually do. Uh, the shaman sorcerer of metal is going to be bringing plague of rust to help get those armor values of the Dawi down to a reasonable level for these marauders to handle. And then we have the Shaman Source for Fire, bringing Fireball, looking to either snipe out some artillery pieces or bring some of these gyrocopters down back to the earth. So that is our armies for you here today. So let's get things moving as the Feral Manticores are going to be sticking a little back for gyrocopters with brimstone guns is going to be a bit of a tall task for them, uh, especially considering you'll be able to have at least two of them firing at all times and they will do quite a bit of damage with those brimstone guns as they are opening up doing a decent amount of work to those feral manticores but if those feral manticores are able to get into combat they will 100 percent win against those gyrocopters so the gyrocopter is just going to have to try and kite away. And then with the help of these horsemen with throwing axes as well, even though the cannons are doing a lot of damage early on to them, uh, they will help screen out these gyrocopters as well. So I think they really need to pair with those mana cores to help deal with these gyrocopters. I don't think these throwing axes should be trying to do really anything else. Because, yeah, the throwing axes, I mean, they're taking a lot of damage right now, but the Norskins do need to advance and try and shut down these cannons as quickly as possible, as the Shaman Sorcerer has the Rune of Wrath and Ruin popped on him, so minus 72% speed. So now these gyrocopters are just going to open up, and these brimstone guns need to fire in, and that's why you need to have those Feral Manticores so close, because it absolutely just gets deleted by those cannon fires. And the cannons, uh, they do have the chance for those cannonballs to essentially hit twice when they strike a chariot model. Uh, so they just do absolutely fantastic work, especially when their uh, those chariots are slowed down by 72%. Uh, so now it is just going to be down to the Shaman Sorcerer of Fire to hit with those fireballs to really kind of shut things down as the Plague of Rust is now off the field. And that is going to breathe a sigh of relief for the Dawi forces as the gyrocopters are going to be kind of retreating back behind their own lines. So they should be fairly safe on uh, the, the, yeah, the Fire Man, of course, the only thing they have to fear are these uh, brimstone guns they do should need to push them off because they are firing freely into wolfric right now same with all of these cannons so the norskins they just need to try and break this front line as quickly as possible slayers are coming in trying to get on top of wolfric uh, but wolfric will be pulling away and these marauder horsemen looking to get into that back line trying to thread the needle though they are unable to we do have a uh, sea fang going down cutting through some miners and a little bit of dragonback slayers but it looks like the front line is holding so far at least the feral manticores have been able to get on top of the gyrocopters for the time being another fireball arcing its way towards these cannons making contact and taking out another model so doing good work there pretty much what it needs to prioritize as quickly as possible to save wolfric and these feral manticores from those punishing fire and try and stay out of the range itself. One of the Fairmatic Horse is Rampage into the cannon. It can be against worse targets, but with it Rampage, these Dragonback Slayers are going to be able to get right on top of it and should actually be able to finish it off just outright, especially with the firepower from these two Brimstone Guns assisting in that department. Marauder Horseman pushing up very quickly, trying to get some focus fire shots into these Gyrocopters as well, but the left flank of the Dawi is starting to... Uh, falter just a little bit but Wolfric is just taking so much fire from those brimstone guns and the Norskins just cannot finish them off quickly enough 
one of the feral manticores is being pushed off the other is healthy and it does need to get up into the sky but it doesn't look like it. even if it does right now at this point uh, wolfric is pretty much going to be going down uh these throwing axes aren't going to be able to push them off quickly enough and yeah feral manticore is getting on top of another unit of gyrocopters but it's just going to be too little too late so the norskins are going to have to try and do it on their own they still have their shaman sorcerer of fire on the chariot and it uh, looks like it, two of the cannons are pretty much offline at this point uh the other one is looking to be soon to follow as a healthy unit of marauders is getting right on top of it though the long beards are trying to protect it though yeah these marauders are able to just focus that cannon down Wolfric might even survive, but more importantly, it will keep that Shaman Sorcerer alive and well. But Balance Power is in the Dowie favor, as another Fireball does arc its way up, making contact with one of the Gyrocopters, though it does still survive. At this point, yeah, the cannon is starting to waver down to two models, and it is losing its crew fairly quickly, and the Marauders are still very healthy as well. Finally able to break that cannon, and the... Uh, Shaman Sorcerer can breathe a little sigh of relief, though there are still some healthy gyrocopters with a decent amount of ammo left as they start to do a little bit of a bombing run. And these throwing axes is going to have their work cut out for them, trying to keep them alive, able to take out another model. So that is very good for them as the Marauders are looking to collapse upon the back line. Uh, the Brutes, the Hound, Marauder Berserkers, who are unbreakable, are in combat with so the Dragonwax Slayers. Actually, that is a uh, scenario they actually want to be in. They will do very well. They, I mean, with how many models they have left, they only have 11. Uh, they'll do, they'll trade exceptionally well into the Dragonback Slayers, however, so that is not a bad engagement whatsoever for them, though it looks like the rest of the Norskin infantry is starting to break down fairly quickly. You still have a very healthy Feral Manticore, which is going to be extremely helpful. This uh, Shaman Sorcerer is going to be routing off. It, I think it needed to be moving around as much as it could. It was just sitting stationary and taking shots from these gyrocopters all day. And now the Berserkers are looking to get a little bit of a flanking maneuver around these Longbeards. Those Longbeards will hold for quite some time. So that's going to be, uh, especially with that uh, Sorcerer of Metal gone, uh, it's going to be kind of the big crux of what the Norskins have to deal with things because they have some very low ammo uh, throwing axes left and they're trying to focus down these uh, gyrocopters though the gyrocopters have used up all their ammo so they were not able to um, quickly enough push things off and these miners with blasting sarges still have a couple of volleys left and are firing right into these marauder berserkers and will be doing quite a bit of damage there as the rune lord now in the middle of these marauders and the marauder horseman he is no a melee combatant, but uh, he will be able to hold off for long enough. Uh, though the Marauders might eventually be able to take him down, as finally the Sorcerer of Fire does come back, getting a nice charge into the side of these Miners with Blasting Charges, though he is very, very low himself. As uh, But on the uh, plus side, I guess, for the Norskins, the uh, ammo in the Brimstone Guns is very low, only looking like there's only one volley left in this unit, but we have a healthy unit of Longbeards off in the trees. And I don't know if the Norskins really have enough to deal with that kind of high armor at this point. As the Shaman Sorcerer once again routes from that final volley of the Gyrocopters. Uh, as the Horsemen trying to keep things alive for as long as possible. But it does look like the Dwarves are going to be getting the upper hand here. As army losses are sure to be kicking in any second. And as soon as that Shaman Sorcerer goes off the field, I think that will be curtains for the rest of the Norskin forces as the Dragonback Slayers does collapse upon the last kind of healthy unit of the Norskins, the Feral Manticore. And it looks like that is going to be all she wrote. And the Dwarves will take it in the end. So take a look at the after battle report on this. So yeah, the Dwarves led by the Undead Squirrel on doing very good work. I think, yeah, taking that uh, shaman sorcerer of metal out of the picture so early on allowed that dwarf front line to just hold pretty much indefinitely because once that shaman sorcerer of metal was gone uh, those long beards i mean the berserkers aren't going to be able to do a whole lot to them you have throwing axes who can do some work but they really need to be focusing those gyro copters as much as possible and yet uh, i think that Wolfric needed to be a little bit more cautious. He got up in front. The Norskins did do a good job of getting those cannons offline as quickly as possible, though I think you can see which cannon got the lucky blow. This double chevron cannon just ripping right through that Shaman Sorcerer of Metal, taking him, just pretty much deleting him right off the face of the map. But yeah, I think the Norskins, 
working with the army it was fairly decent i like the idea of the two shaman sorcerers both on their chariots uh, kind of splitting the magic and both do have their uses but i think you really need stuff that can help break that front line as quickly as possible otherwise yeah it was a, i think it was a very good match love seeing the royal dawi air force on the field but that will be all i have for you here today i hope you all enjoyed the video and as always have a good one.